Tonight on Hip on the Spot News. There is a new module in development for DCS World. The F-104 Starfighter was announced by Aegis. The Mirage 2-seater variant is in final testing. And a new campaign for the Viper is ready for release. This and more on How I Play. Hello Virtual Pilots, I'm Andre Celesti and tonight we are going to talk about the latest updates in Starfield, uh, DCS World, sorry about that. As many are turning their attention to the imminent release of Bethesda's next title called Starfield, the DCS World website was under maintenance for a bit longer than expected at the time that we recorded this video. This was a scheduled maintenance of their primary server and things should be back to normal now. Meanwhile, ED is doing a developer Q&A for the next two weeks. They forgot the TM, but no problem, two weeks, remember. Yes, this marks the 15th anniversary of the release of DCS World. Does anyone know if ED does private parties on yachts with models and stuff? I would sure love to celebrate it properly. At least I should tell them that I can be booked as a singer as well. Hmm, never mind. So make sure you submit your questions on the forum, I linked it in the video description. Now let's move on with the news. We got two important updates from Aegis Engineering. First, the team is excited to present their upcoming F-104 module for DCS World. This aircraft was initially designed to counter the threats posed by the MiG-15 over Korea and later the MiG-17. Equipped with a single J-79G-19 turbojet installed in a very small and lightweight aircraft, the F-104 had excellent airspeed and acceleration qualities that outmatch aircraft of the same era. Armed with a 725 round M61A1 20mm autocannon and with two AIM-9 Sidewinders, the F-104 was a within visual range fighter that relied on high speed slashing attacks rather than turning dogfights due to its poor turn rate. Although optimized for the interceptor role, it could also be armed with unguided rockets and bombs for ground attack. With an ANASG 14T1 ranging radar and fire control computer enabled, the F-104 is capable of search for aerial targets out to 14 nautical miles and track them within 10 nautical miles. The aircraft took part in the 1958 Taiwan Strait Crisis and played a deterrent force during the Berlin Crisis in 1961. Between 1965 and 1967, it flew 5,206 sorties during the Vietnam War. In 1971, Pakistanis F-104s took part in the Indo-Pakistan War. There sure is a lot to talk about this module, but all in good time. Until further in development, we are waiting patiently for Aegis to update us with the progress. The second news from the developer is about the Mirage F-1BE, the two-seater variant, that is now entering the final testing phase before public release. This version will be the ideal for conversion training, and it will provide the opportunity to fly with friends in multiplayer using the DCS multi-crew. Nice! The second seat adds an additional 30 cm to the length of the aircraft, size does matter, which results in reduced internal fuel and the removal of the twin 30mm cannons. Well, it seems when you gain some, you lose some. But wait, all other combat capabilities are retained from the single seat version, and the loss of the internal cannons and internal fuel are compensated for with the addition of cannon pods and external fuel tanks. The back seat also includes a heads-up sight repeater which is unique in DCS. The addition of the Mirage F-1BE adds an interesting role-playing option for the Mirage F-1 pilot journey. This basically provides a unique experience of starting to learn basic airmanship with a C-101, then transitioning to the Mirage F-1BE as part of the Mirage F-1 basic course or B course, and then concluding with a Mirage F-1 tactical unit. Sounds great, and I can already see the campaigns that will follow in these footsteps. This makes me think if I should try the Mirage F1 one day. Moving on from Aegis to Miltech 5. 
Short news this time, as Rasbam Simulations has announced on their Discord server that the BO105 is now a full Miltech 5 project again. The development of the BO105 will continue as normal, but of course there is still no release date information available. Currently they are searching for an animator for rigging the pilot and co-pilot skeletal animations. In other news, Apache pilot jumps from space and lands safely on the ground. And a Harrier jet reaches 908,124 feet. Had the user not disconnected, it will have reached 1 million feet. Amazing stuff! And just recently, we got a final preview video for the upcoming campaign by Ground Pounder Simulations called Weasels Over Syria, where the developer showcased the features and gameplay you can expect from the campaign. First in, Weasels Over Syria will immerse you in this legendary mission as you fly head-on with the enemy air defenses. The action is set during the events of Operation Cerberus North. You will be placed in the cockpit of Captain Dan Forrest Wilson, a wild weasel pilot with the 79 Fighter Squadron. During this incredible detail, exciting and immersive campaign, you will engage in a wide range of weasel missions as the Joint Syrian Task Force flights, for dominance over the highly contested Syrian skies. The campaign features 12 thrilling and immersive missions set over a variety of tasks including seed, DAD, search and destroy, strike and escort. Detailed scenarios set during the Operation Cerberus North storyline offer new viewpoints and events for this complex conflict and a comprehensive Syrian air defense network consisting of EW radars, fixed and mobile SAM sites, widespread AAAs and shored at key sites. We can expect a highly developed level of immersion and interaction that blends scripted mission content with dynamic gameplay systems. This means missions can be completed in numerous ways. The enemy will react and respond believably to your action and different mission playthroughs can result in different experiences. With the campaign we get introduced to the Weasel System, a custom build system to enhance AI control of air defenses in the campaign. The Weasel System allows better management of AI resources for improved system performance. I like that, including a jamming effect system, control SAM emissions for more realistic behavior and incorporated SAM weaknesses so threat limitations can be learned and exploited. You'll get an extensive detailed documentation and briefings, including a 75-page scenarios intelligence briefing, 22 pages of spins and over 200 pages of detailed briefing documents and kneeboards. But wait, there is more. There is also a custom air traffic control system for your home airfield. Yes, yes, fully voiced acted by a range of actors with over 2,500 lines of dialogue recorded. Wow, there are many optional conversations to take part in that will enhance the storyline if you wish or they can be ignored if you prefer a more quiet cockpit. The creator has carefully constructed the learning curve to develop the pilot's ability to operate in a complex high threat environment. There is an immortal mode, allowing risk-free enjoyment of the action but at the expense of limiting mission scores. Plus an interesting mode in the first mission called Gauntlet Ops. This is a set of free-flowing, high replayable objective-based mini-missions embedded into the campaign, designed to enable free flight into the full air defense network. As I am a big fan of all campaigns from Ground Pounder Sims, I will definitely not miss this one out. And now, a short reminder about our giveaway. This time we are preparing to ship the one and only F-14 Tomcat by Hitblur for one of our viewers. All you need to do in order to participate is to be subscribed to our channel and comment on all the videos we publish. Our Discord members have an extra entry in the giveaway thread and our Patreon special pilot and co-pilot classes get an automatic entry as well. Once a winner is chosen, you will hear it in one of our videos from my voice only. And if you already own the F-14 Tomcat, don't worry, you will be able to choose a different desired module that was already released from DCS World, Standalone or Steam, or choose to give away your prize to somebody else. No problem, more information in the video description. And that's it for today, thank you all for watching, remember to check our sponsor VR Rock for your VR Blu-ray protection and prescription lenses. Many thanks to our Patreons that support our channel, Rhinox, Richard Burnside, Steven Adaschik, Pegasus24, Runan, Crash, Santiago Ordonez, Hobo, Dieter Nussbaumer, Tony Prince, Ian Masak, Isot, Matthew Waters, Malt Jam, Dugal Wilson and Brock Guet. Thank you for the continuous support, it means a lot to me. Remember to leave us a like if you find the video informative and subscribe to keep in touch with all the latest news on your favorite simulators and games. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe and I'll see you next time.